Hello again, this is the Water Man, Spiritual Toolbox number 428, John chapter 4, recording number 65, audio recording number 745, and examination table number 123. Now, I want to, let's see here, uh, speak a couple things, I'm still doing a little bit of a preview like uh, uh, going a little bit before we get into John chapter 4 verse 15 okay because um, <clears throat> all this stuff is relevant and keeping it in your mind this was a little funny <laughs> okay I'm not trying to get in the gutter or nothing but it's very relevant okay these natural things are first and they teach us about the spiritual things so you're like looking far off think about it they relate to the spiritual things, okay? Now, first little point here is in nature, uh, like in the wilderness or nature here in the natural, um, the weather conditions where it's raining, sunny out, cold, you know, blizzard, all this stuff, real hot, boiling hot, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't concern itself. Nature doesn't concern itself with uh, or pay attention to um, how this, how all of these things the rain, the sun, the snow, the sleet, the wind, all this stuff it doesn't, it doesn't concern itself. Nature doesn't concern itself with how it affects you, does it? Well, man, the rain, this it really sucks. Be out in the wilderness, okay? A wilderness experience. And where are you in your mind? You're in a wilderness experience. In these storms of your life, in this desert season where there's a lack of water and food, the living water from God and the real food from, 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 from God, not this old polluted stuff from Jacob's well water and, and this old tainted yuck, poisonous stinking berries. From uh, your old carnal mind, your own non spiritual mind. Hmm. Yuck. Okay. Now this, in the in natural, in this wilderness experience, the the nature, natural things, uh, just out in the na uh, physical world. If you're out in a wilderness situation, just because you're complaining about the weather, if you're at your home and complaining about the weather. That's not going to make it like, oh, well, I guess we won't storm today because we don't want to hurt you in your arthritis. And all these, this battle and stuff, we don't want that to hurt you, make it hard for you to get up now. We don't want your head to hurt. You might hit the ice. I go through that a lot. <laughs> it has not going to change the weather outside. What I owe to is it. Hmm. Whenever God's doing this, it's got a purpose to bring this um, argument, this God's case, putting his case forth in your mind, in that holy of holies, okay? Get past this outer court holy place, which is combined down to one in the New Testament, the new promise. Hmm? Now there's just a holy place and the holy of holies. Make it practical. Outside stuff, exterior stuff, looking, oh, there's all this stuff going on around me. These pressures and all this stuff is influencing me and making me do this stuff. No, 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 no. Focus inside where God is working with you. Right? He's got you in this wilderness thing, this death realm. Where there's lack of food and water, even oxygen in the air. Remember, you can live about three day, three minutes without oxygen, three days without food, about three weeks, or I mean, three three minutes without oxygen, three days without water, and three weeks without food. Right? Three, three, three. A lot of threes in there, is there? Hmm. How many is it taking? How many days is it God taking? How many ages is God taking out that? Six, six, six. She was even a witness there. One, two, three. 
one six two six. Humanistic thinking, humanistic thinking, humanistic thinking has to go through nighttime and daytime. Day one, day two, day three it happens. And then the third day, you'll be perfected, brought back to the right mindedness of God in this one single area of your thinking. How many of them you got? Oh, whole hold me here yet. So you got enough to do you until you kick the bucket in this natural realm. <laughs> <laughs> Your thinking is constantly increasing. God's bringing you back. But you have to agree, agree, agree. He's given these opportunities in this wilderness experience. Now, in this wilderness experience is whatever rain, whatever circumstances, whatever thalipsis, pressures, calamities, tribulations. Don't do that to me, God, because I, I just can't take it. Well, it's me. God would never do nothing like that. Come on, man. It's like saying outside, uh, God will never make it uh, over 100 degrees outside because I can't stand it. You know, I've had a heat stroke now. I can't take it. So much. And I can't. <laughs> I don't sweat the same way again. I, I, I get real sick. But I gotta change the way I do stuff. I can't go out there and and uh, get the weed eater. Just we I've done that all my life. Or you know, since I was a little kid, I just get out there weed. I get out there and work, work, work. It's not because I'm lazy. Can't do that anymore. I know better. Learn my lesson. I go do it now. I'm gonna get in trouble physically. Hmm. Huh? Mm -mm. <laughs> right so but does that make it to where oh because you're gonna get sick i'm not gonna do this no because my arthritis is gonna flare up on me and i'm gonna hurt like the, uh, like the living daylights all over my body because i broke everywhere pretty much everywhere oh well it, I'll be, it, it better not rain no if it don't rain, it's going to be like a desert. It's going to be the grass not going to grow, trees, the plants, the gardens. No. Things have to go on. Right? Just in the spirit. Same thing. Just the God's argument, his explanation, and the intensification to give you the, the opportunity to take you in the storms of your life. In the eye of the storm. So you got to make a decision. Green light God. That way you're going the green way. Hot pursuit. Everything you got. Turn from that old stinking thinking. No matter if you thought it was right or wrong, good, bad. It was just all ugly. Because it wasn't God. God's the beautiful way. That's the ugly way. That's Jacob's well water. Yuck. God's living water. Okay. That's the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. God is the, the tree of life. Which way are you going? The green way or the red way? Not many are in your mind. And not many out here. People are going to find this narrowing path. To this funnel. Taking you up. Like magically. It's beyond the natural realm. Because in the natural realm, it's the gravity's pulling you down. But God's gravity in the spirit. It's so spiritually minded. It's holding you tightly to that funnel. Going up, up, up into his righteousness. And speaking of up, it's up to his superior ways. His love is the greatest. God is the greatest. He's not a villain. That's all this stuff. Looking down, man, God's going to take you and throw you in hell for doing, for hurting too bad. Hmm. All right. They ain't going to change it one iota. <clears throat> relying on that stuff is not going to win the lottery. It's not going to win you any increase in the God's righteousness at all. You're wandering around in that darkness down there going deeper. And now you get into these traps. I'm going to talk about one trap. It's kind of like in a funny way. Okay? <laughs> it's it's kind of sick. Yeah. But it's pointing it out. Can't be afraid of looking at that bullshit or that dung or scat. 
Oh, it's not. Ooh. Scat is scat. Animal excrement. Ooh, yuck. And it's your animal. Beast nature, beast nature, beast nature. Let's talk about it a little bit. <clears throat> Jacob's well water. Tree knowledge of good and evil. Animal excrement. You're seeing, hearing, taste, touch, and smell controlled by your own ego thinking. The me, myself, and I is all important and what I think is good and what God's insignificant. Same type stuff, okay? The red way. <coughs> let's examine it. It's, let's expose that sucker so we can see it for what it is and make them even turn from it and make God true and all that humanistic thinking is a liar. I see you, you dirty dog. You yuck, get out. Like it says at the end of this, that little passage in Isaiah chapter 30, verses 18 to 22. At the end of it, you yuck. Get out. That's absolutely not allowed. Cannot win you the lottery. Or cannot win you the increase in the God. No matter if it says it's a good way or a bad way. Imposter of light, or it's a double loss, a, a false accuser. You're no good, you're no good, you're no good, baby, you're no good. You stinky poo, right? It's just condemn, condemn, condemn. And there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. Go on up, right? Back into God, right? <coughs> now, a little drink here. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> now, a spiritual bowel movement, a poo-poo, right, is necessary to uh, uh, to a healthy to healthy spiritual growth, right, back into the right mindedness of God, okay. And explain what I'm talking about. Hopefully, I get it out right for you. Okay. Now, spiritual constipation. You know, just like in the natural, constipation is no joke. <laughs> I can get really rough. Okay. You know, I've been so constipated in the natural that uh, I I got cold sweats. From straining so hard and fell on the floor. <laughs> and then crapped all over myself and I had to clean it up later. But man, I was so thankful because man, that was so tormenting. Not talking about a little bit of constipation. I'm talking about, man, it just about tore me up. Give me even hemorrhoids and stuff. Bleeding. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's not no fun. Okay, and usually what follows after... Uh, constipation, diarrhea, diarrhea of your thinking. What is your seeing, your hearing, your taste, touch, and smell? Your five senses is controlled by the ego, by that I, that me, myself, and I, that gives you the shits, the diarrhea. Now, that's constipation. Let's talk about this constipation. Not trying to be sick and something, but that's kind of funny. Okay, this is a natural thing teaching you about the spiritual. Pay attention. Open up your eyes, ears. We chew that could. Look at it. Understand this. Hmm? All right. God sits in the heavens and laughs in his boat. Okay? You're not going to offend God. Okay? Um, let's see, I got another here. Yeah, this is not, not fun or enjoyable in the least. I laugh out loud. Yeah, it's not fun. Afterwards, you can laugh at it. But, boy, when it's going on, you go, Oh, please, God, help me <laughs> get this out. Oh, God, it's killing me. <laughs> Started sweating bullets, man. Bam, fell off the thing. I couldn't help it, man. Fell right out on the floor, man. Ah, ah. It wasn't even over then. Go, dog. <laughs> That's rough. Okay, I've been constipated before, but not like that, okay? That's rough one, okay? 
could learn from every little silly thing that goes on in your life. Huh? And that wasn't silly at the time. My goodness. I thought I was about to die. All right? Now, uh, yeah, I've got a little note here. I think diarrhea is, per, is a more preferable experience than the experience of this. Falling off and, I mean, good old dog. Diarrhea is not great. You know, it will dehydrate you and stuff. But at least it's coming out easy. Oh, my goodness, that other will dag on about rip. Feel like your insides are ripping out. Feel like, oh, my goodness. It's not fun. All right? Now, in the spirit... What's going on? A spiritual bowel movement, okay? Or being constipated is equal to or like, okay? Huh? Um, relieving one's own mind, like your bowel movement up here, that, that old poop thinking, that old dark matter stuff, dark thinking, ignorance of God's love, God's ways, of God's righteousness, is like that poop. That you're trying to get out of your body or trying to get out of your mind. You can't do it by yourself, none, not one iota. You can't buy a lottery ticket, do a good thing, good works, hmm, in your own righteousness and expect to get rid of that constipation in your mind. Not going to happen. In fact, the more you feed that thing, it doubles, 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 doubles. Stops you up, spiritually speaking. Makes you like an old wine skin. And then you can't take the new wine. There ain't room for it. Right? When you get when you get rid of that old dark thinking, two things can't occupy the same exact spot at the same exact time. That dark matter thinking, all those little dark pixels in there, something's gotta go. Two in your earth. One will be taken, that dark matter go. Get beat it, you dog, and possess that land in its place. And then God gives the increase, and it increases. 1 to 2 to 4 to 8 to 16, the light of God, the illumination of God increases in that dark. The ignorance of God's love decreases. I must decrease. That dark stuff, poop, must decrease. <coughs> <coughs> that poop thinking, like an eyes in. Chapter, uh, not Isaiah, John chapter 3, verse 30. That I, that ego, that poop thinking must decrease and God must increase. Two can't stare at one at the same time in these storms of your life. Something's going to happen. You can't not make a decision. That's building up, becoming an old wine skin. And then you won't be able to take, if you do that so long, one, two, four, eight. Get up past the legion and stuff. You're not going to be able to handle the tr any of the truth. Well, but you need a new wine, new revelation, new disclosure of the truth before known. That God loves you beyond the mere description of words. And you coming back to that, you can't do it in this area. You get so beat down, uh, so hardened down and calloused. You put that in there, poof, bust the bubble. You got a whole bunch of them little bubbles in your mind, right? Whole myriad. And then each one of those little thought processes is broke down into like this one with 35 zeros after it. A dark thinking to one seed of Christ. A seed of faith. That's got to be put on the top. Germinate that seed and then start going. Having good bowel movements. Getting rid of the old and coming into the new. And God's growing. And it's decreasing in the amount of poop thinking, if you will. Dark matter stuff, dark thinking, ye yuck. That dark energy thinking that's separating you from God. See, because God's light is reuniting you back to God. As you trust and rely in Him, and you learn to do it more and more and more. When you come all the way back up, you're going towards Ian, resting and relying in God. And S-Y-N, in union with God's way of thinking. God's right, and I'm wrong. Don't matter how much time, talent, and effort I put into it. It's wrong, wrong, wrong. You hear that big gong? That's going off in your gut of the mind. You're a ball of the thinking in your mind. 
Universe, tell us what I was thinking, that orderly arrangement in your mind. Hmm? Just like that constipation in your, in the natural. You, you're fine as long as you have good, healthy bowel movements. You don't, man. You're going down the shitter. You're falling down your stands. Ooh, ah, ooh, right? I'm not hurt. I'm not hurt. Yeah, oh yeah, you are. You're really hurting yourself bad. You don't even know it. You're listening to your own stinking thinking. Your own filthy mistress stinking rags. Like it says in Isaiah chapter 64 verse 6. Huh? What are you going to do? Like in Isaiah chapter 30 verse 18 through, 20, uh, 18 through 22. Tell it, get out! Huh? Got to possess that land. Right? That mind. Two in your earth. Don't think it's this outside rapture and don't take out the good guys and leave all the bad guys. Mm -mm. Guys, get rid of that old crap thinking in your mind. That 666, six, six, humanistic thinking, humanistic thinking, humanistic thinking. That beast nature, beast nature, beast nature. And get it out of your hand, your works, your efforts. Huh? So that God increases in you. The glory, that dense, weighty substance, that character of God, God's name, his anima, or in the Old Testament, shame, S-H-E-M, his nature, character, and authority. Oh, and there's much gratitude with this. You're exuberant. You're excited, emphatic, in hot pursuit. Oh, my goodness. This is the greatest gift. Every little bitty thing in there. And it grows and grows and grows in brightness in the glory of God. That gets faster and faster, but he's protecting you. Hmm? That's your thermostat. Don't take the temperature, all this outside bullcrap stuff. It's bullcrap. It's your own humanistic thinking. Crap. Ooh, yuck. It's all done. Like the Apostle Paul said, I killed it all as dung for winning Christ. Don't rely, don't eat, don't partake in that old bull crap thinking. It'll constipate you. And then you'll have diarrhea. Man, it'll just mess you up. You'll be a pitiful sight. Hmm? You're making that old wine skin into an old wine skin, a callous down thing that can't take any new truth. Don't go too far. Kill that thing. Smash that thing against the rock, against Christ, as early as you can. One, two, to four. Okay, that's about enough of that, that one. Be still. Know who the, I'm God. Right? Know who God is. Hmm? I'm agreeing with God. You get out! Get out! I see you, you dirty dog. These spiritual toolboxes are to help you be able to optimize. I see you, a dirty good. Right, whatever you got. I mean, I acted it up, but man, that's serious. That's the one way to get rid of it is to go back to God. Full bore. All this other stuff is just feudal thing. Less odds of you winning the lottery. That's a sure thing to win the lottery, buying one ticket. Then uh, try to do it on your own thing and try to get an increase of God. There ain't no way. God says, who you up? He'll spew you out of his mouth. Vomit you with extreme disgust. That stuff cannot come back to God. Only the seed. The seed won't be lost. You can't destroy that light in the, of God that you don't even know about. But when God gives you the opportunity to, you can go back to him full bore, hard as you can. And it will increase. When God, when you qualify with God, that you'll meet may, right? Hmm? It's 3,300 and something. I don't, I don't remember the exact number right off the time. The strong uh, concordance number. Okay, well, I'm sure we'll come across it again. No doubt. Okay? Now, <clears throat> so, so a spiritual bowel movement is like relieving one's own mind of the burden of of believing in some of the dark pixel thinking, that ignorance of God's way. This is the way he won't keep in it. This so daggone blind dog got a bandage over its face. Hmm? 
that thinking of the, of the carnal mind, of your non-spiritual mind, your own. <coughs> <coughs> Not someone outside you. They can't make you do that. That deception comes from within. Don't believe your own crap thinking. Hmm? Because it's crappy as crap. Hmm? Right? Now, as one green lights God's righteousness, God gives the increase, which drives out a little of one's own righteousness, one's own dark pixels, that poop thinking, and replaces that poop thinking with God's righteousness or the enlightenment of pixels inside that one thought process. From one to two to four to eight, that light. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Right? It's going to grow, 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 grow. Cause I put it up in my mind. It's superior. It's first. Put it on a candlestick. Set up high in the room. What's the highest place in you? Your head. Up in your mind. Huh? Hide it under a bushel, no. Under that poop field. No, flip the script. Huh? I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Huh? All right? Now. <clears throat> You know, that's <laughs> whenever whenever this is happening and it's driving out some of the old, it's been taken out and then God's increasing, a bowel movement has occurred, a spiritual bowel movement. Because you're... <laughs> got a little sound effects there. <laughs> that, that old stuff has been driven out and you're possessing the land. In this place, by agreeing with God, coupling to God, and God's pulling you through. He's enlightening you, a little by little by little, huh? In one thought process, it's growing from one to two to four to eight because you're putting Him first. You're not saying God's insignificant, or well, I don't know. My core mind, oh, says this way. It says on the contrary, but that Allah, A L L A. Well, contrary wise, I believe this way because I've done it all my life. It's a good thing. It's a tradition of men. Huh? Make God true. And all this mankind thinking, all these traditions of men, a liar. Don't hang on to none of that baggage. You can't go through that eye of the needle. What I say, it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of the needle than a rich man. Hang on to all this baggage to go through that eye of the needle. Can't go. Can't go. Only spirit, the righteousness, the right-mindedness of God is going through there. That's what this thing is doing. This When you turn that electromagnetic spectrum on the end, it's a spring going in. Huh? God's taking you. Uh, taking you up. Huh? So you got to agree in hot pursuit. Give up on all that old crap thinking. You're old stinking thinking. Hmm? All right. Now, <clears throat> uh, little by little, increase by increase, one's spiritual life in God's righteousness is restored back to your true identity in Christ. God places you in the body where he sees fit. Not where you see fit, but you got to agree, 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 agree to get back there. I want all that you got for me, Daddy. Father God. Huh? I'm not settling for being under this, to burying your talent that you gave me under this earthly thinking, this fleshly thinking, and feeding on this all my life. And then thinking at the last second, I'll repent. It changed a little pixel. That's all. You got that and the much seeds. That's all you got. Going back to the Father. All that other crap's going to the dust of the earth from where it came. Hmm? But flip it and proceed. Grow. Get all that you got for me, Daddy. Huh? Huh? Now, um, little by little, increase by increase, the uh, spiritual life in God's righteousness is restored. 
back into recording, re increasing back into God's righteousness, God's Zoe light, the fullness of life in God, that living water. <coughs> okay, you're not feeding on that old Jacob's well water, right? Uh, that Jacob's well water, that's the red way, proceeding, making it constipated. Hmm? It's uh, eating diarrhea stuff. It's going to lead to problems. Constipation, diarrhea. Okay. Choosing the red way increases uh, one exponentially. One to two to four to eight to 16, right? It, back into that spiritual uh, constipation. That old wine skin that can't take the new one. You better smash that thing's head. Or kill that thing quickly. Righteous man falls down many times, but he gets up quickly. Don't let that thing get out of control to where it becomes an old wineskin. He can't take the truth. Okay? It's like being an old wineskin, I said. And you got an old road going down the city, pop, pop, down the old stairs. Right? All right. Uh. Yeah, usually constipation is followed by diarrhea. You see in here and taste, touch, and smell, controlled by your own ego. You're me, myself, and I, right? I know it's kind of funny, but you know, it is. It is what it is. Think about that. That old yuck stuff. Isaiah 64, 6, Jeremiah 17, 9, Philippians 3, 8. Hmm? You're falling down your shit up.